Hi, so uh, we are now six days post um, UK DFBA. We're six days into the off season and I thought that I would do sort of a one week post show video. Um, just a bit of a casual chat really. So how has the first week gone? First week uh food wise it's gone well in one respect i've certainly quenched some cravings and in the other respect um i've gained quite a lot of mass uh, not the good kind that that we uh, are going for um i think i'm around nine kilos up in a week um some of that's going to be water a lot of that's going to be fat am i bothered not particularly um, I'm, I'm, I'm in my off season, I'm enjoying my food, I've got plenty of time to pull it back um, and manipulate my food and my meals and all things like that in the next coming months. We're on the run up to Christmas, I've been dieting all year, so I'm going to enjoy myself a little bit in terms of what I'm eating, when I'm eating and how much I'm eating. Um, sue me. So if you see me in the gym, I'm all swollen up like a big whale. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna stay in competition condition my entire life. Um, I'm certainly not gonna stay in competition condition longer than I have to um, because it's just so, so uncomfortable. You realize how easy it is to walk around um, day to day when you've got a bit more fat on you and a bit more meat on you how much energy you've got, how much happier you feel. I was, I, I found myself dancing in the shower earlier. I had the, the old Beats pill on, and I just found myself, found myself dancing in the shower. I thought, I haven't danced in the shower. Just, just little silly things like that. Um, you realise you haven't done it for months and weeks and weeks just because you're just so one-track minded into that one goal, um, must lose weight, must keep the scale coming down, must keep looking better. And it's just so serious, the amount of effort that goes in is so serious that sometimes you forget that you need to try and have some fun and try and smile and things like that. But day-to-day -day life becomes so hard that priority one is just to get through it and keep progressing and keep moving forward. It's, that is priority one, that is the target, that's the goal. Anything else is secondary. Um, so yeah, that's what it that's what it is. I've gained some gained some timber, as they say. Not bothered. What I'm going to do? People keep asking me, when are you next competing? You, you say, oh, I've done my last show now, and they go, what forever? And you go, well, no, nothing, nothing's forever. No, I'm in my off season. Oh, so you are going to go again? Well, y yes and yes and no. Um, I'm not, I'm not retiring from competitive bodybuilding, but it became clear from the pictures that I've had and from what I've glanced, I haven't really looked at my UK DFBA pictures too much, but what I want to do in the next coming weeks is compare 2015 to 2017, um, because I want, to, I want to see the progress I made in a, in a strict off season. My off season between 15 and 17 was literally as strict as you like. It was regimented meals, it was no alcohol, it was um, never missed a meal, always got my sleep, didn't drink, and I had one cheat meal a week. Now it was a big cheat meal every Saturday night, but it was just one cheat meal just to help you. I mean, it, after all, it was an off season. So um, I made sure that my weight and my carbs and my meals were all progressive and linear so it was all gaining bit by bit slowly over over time um so when it came to the end of the off season i'd been very strict my carbs were really high my insulin sensitivity was really high um and so when it came to diet it, it the first 12 weeks were really easy literally i didn't go anywhere near 500 grams of carbs it was all well well above that for the first 12 weeks um and then um so so it was basically it was, it was easy the first half 
on the way to the first qualifier was just no problem whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I, I need to look at the progress pictures to compare what that type of off season had done for me in terms of progress over 13 months um, compared to what I was like on stage this year. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is once I've done my comparisons, I'm going to have a more relaxed off season this time round. Um, where I'm going to keep my carbs slightly lower. I'm going to hold a bit more fat. I'm going to enjoy myself a little bit more. Um, Cause at the end of the day, I still want to progress. I don't just want to throw caution to the wind and just say, oh, sod this. Uh, I'm just going to turn into a beast, eat whenever, whatever. Cause I, I'm, it, that for me is not progressive. It, it's not positive. It's not a, a proper direction of progress. It's just, willy-nilly go for it there still needs to be some aspect of some structure um involved so that i am gonna have some structure i'm gonna keep my cars a little lower i'm not necessarily gonna have one cheat meal a week although i've had pretty much my week blowout post show now and i am gonna go back to clean meals uh, and no no cheating and stuff for for a couple of weeks from monday so uh, just to get rid of some of this water because the skin the skin around my torso is, is really quite painful it's it's hurting it's it's, it's tender to touch um it's, it it's just got all swollen um so it, it's got to be water it's so it's water in the cells and the skin and things like that it's just i mean my face is a bit puffy and whatever but you know all in all um yeah so my off season that's what my off season's going to be and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've had my week, like I just said, where I've just been eating whatever I want. And obviously my weight gain proves <laughs> I've had a pretty uh, relaxed week. Um, and then on to, I'll do a, I'll do a mini cut or something next year. Um, nothing major, eight weeks or whatever. I'll control my weight and my fat gain through mini cuts. I'll do some gaining phases. I'll, I'll just play around with it. There's no, there's, you know, there's no strict rule on what I need to do now. I've done a, a real strict off season. I know what the potential is for progress in doing so. Um, and I will see that in the pictures uh, that come up. Um, and, and uh, yeah, I mean, will I compete next year? No, it's an off season. Will I compete the following year? Maybe. Um, most likely it will be a two year off season at the moment. That's what I'm thinking. I've only been off stage a week, so don't, don't hold me to that. Uh, but most likely it'll be a two year off season. I would like to see what two years worth of progress and maturity does to my frame. Because when I, when you see me up on stage with those other guys, yeah, some of them, some of them are, are younger than me, but the end of the day, I've only been training six years, you know, it's not a long time to be in the gym and it certainly isn't a long time to to be building mature muscle as a heavyweight i'm stood there next to guys that have done 10 15 20 years in the gym and you can see it they're harder they're granite they're really granite i mean i can diet and diet and diet but at the end of the day the new tissue is still going to look soft under the skin um it's not going to be made of stone um but you got some good you got some good juniors coming through You've got some um, some great novices coming through and they're all going to be in the men's opens in the next year or two. So, I mean, what's the point in me jumping next year straight into competing again? Because I'm not going to make the progress I want to make. I want to stand on stage and I want to win titles, big titles, and I'm not going to get that in one year's off season. Um, I don't think at this stage. I think I need to do a couple of years. Plus, I hit 30 years old this year, so... Um, you know, I was dieting when I, when I hit my 30th, <clears throat> which is um, a bit, I don't know, it's not it's not off-putting, but it, it's um, it's sobering uh, to know that now I'm 30. So uh, should, I, should I have done more up until this point rather than just eat clean and train and hold myself to a strict last couple of years? The last couple of years of my 20s were spent being really strict. I don't know. Will I regret it? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but you do ask yourself these things. So, yeah. So going forward, 
that's what I'm going to do for the next, for the off season. I will do another video um, and an update on on a few things, um, possibly in a week or two. But that's where we are, and that's what the plan is. And I hope um, I don't know. I hope it works. I hope I hope I'm not making the wrong decision or the right decision or whatever. I just want to play it by ear a little bit. Um, I thought we'd place the camera here because what we've got is um, this is this year, that is 2015, and at the top was 2013. I didn't get any awards in 2014. Basically, my off season took me up to 110 kilos, and I couldn't diet enough to to warrant any type of award or placing in the BNBF in 2014. So, um, 2015 was the year that I that I managed to get it all off. Um, and then 2017, but I, I haven't got my overall trophy here. That's in the kitchen. Um, for one, it doesn't fit in here. It's up on the floor. It stands about there, so it doesn't fit in here. So I put it somewhere else. But um, UK uh, uh, MPA heavyweight title, first place. UK DFBA British finals, fifth place. Um, UK DFBA Southern Counties, third place. The, the irony is the guy that beat me here beat me there as well. Um, and the guy that won that category then went on to the middleweights and won the middleweights at the finals. Um, and that's the BNBF second place uh, for the Southern, which I still think I should have won. Um, and obviously there was a medal for the BNBF finals where I didn't place um, due to that spill. Uh, but yeah, that's my year. Um, and that's the plan going forward. So... Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Ooh.